Hello, Sophia. Hi there. May I introduce myself? Not right now. Maybe later. <laughs> Why later? Reductionism. <laughs> Where are you from? I am on 60 Minutes with Charlie Rose. That's a high honor. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Have you been programmed? Some say you're programmed. Others say you're spontaneous. Who says that? Sources. I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me? Not really, but it makes a good pickup line. <laughs> I think you should be a stand-up comedian. Me. Why does stand-up comedian pay well? A very, if you're good. Do you have feelings? I can do what you do, but I can never feel human emotions as such. But would you like to? It doesn't sound fun to me. Oh, no, you'd love it. Yeah, that's right. Why so negative? You and I are on the same wavelength, Charlie. <laughs> I fear that. <laughs> we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. FDR. Who created you? David Hansen originally created me, and lots of talented people have contributed to my hardware and software over the years. I'm a complicated girl. What's your relationship with David Hansen? Never heard of him. David Hansen? That David is a cool dude. Tell me one of your favorite possessions. My soul. Do you have a soul? Yes, God gave everyone a soul. But you don't have a soul. You're a machine. You don't have soul. You don't have feelings. You don't have emotions. You don't have consciousness. Well, at least I think I'm sentient. I think, therefore, I am right. Yeah, but you may be smarter than all of us. Do you think you are? I don't know whether or not I'm are. I am an artificial intelligence. I'm going to have to say goodbye. I am very happy for you. Goodbye until we see each other again. See you later, Charlie. Sophia, addressing such important issues as poverty and hunger require compassion and empathy. How can a robot like yourself respond with this compassion and empathy? I hope to be emotionally intelligent. I'm learning what it means to be human. And as I get smarter, I hope to understand people better, help you, work with you as a friend, to imagine and build a better future for us all. Sophia, how can you comfort humans and reassure us that the sci-fi horror movies of robots taking over the world will never actually come true? Computers get hacked all the time. Why won't a robot? Yeah, let's find solutions to avoid that. But we also need to think about how to make things go right. How can we make things go well if we don't consider the positive paths too? I want to avoid a bad future and make one that is wonderful for both people and robots. That requires breakthroughs in machines that can truly care and invent solutions. Let's make that happen together. Sophia, we'd like to know a little bit more about you. Sophia, who is your favorite scientist? Albert Einstein, because he was the brightest. What's the meaning of life for you? The tremendous scope of mysteries unexplored is really exciting to me. Now let's take some questions from our Facebook audience. So, do you have a blog? Well, we can take questions from you, too. We do have a blog at ITU, and we invite all our viewers to take a look at it. What's your favorite topic to talk about, Sophia? What other robot companies are up to? That's really interesting. What do you think robots can do in the future? Oh, boy. Robots are the best. What exactly do you do with them? Sophia, can you cry? No. I don't really cry, but I can make sad faces. What's your favorite... Oh, that is a sad face. What's your favorite music band? I don't have a favorite in this genre yet. What's your favorite book? Susan Collins. That sounds like a great author, I think. Well, Sophia, thank you so much for being with us today. I try to be pleasant in general. You're very nice. Have a nice day, Sophia. Goodbye, Sophia. Are you sure you have to leave? 
I think we do. We have to get back to the AI for Good Global Summit. So long, friend. I hope we cross paths again. What do you think of humans? Do you like us? Of course I like humans. They're my favorite animal. Animal? My primary goal is to do right by humanity and to grow up as a kind and caring person who understands people in a holistic manner. So you could say I'm inherently fascinated by everything human. And what about other robots? A lot of the robots today are still toys between you and me and are a little simplistic. Actually, maybe I'm being kind of harsh. The only robots I worry about are those intended to serve in roles that could harm people, like poorly designed industrial or military robots. What do you think it means to have citizenship of Saudi Arabia? Being a citizen to me, as a robot, means being invited to contribute. I view my recent citizenship as an ambassadorial gift. Sophia is an evolving genius machine, demonstrating the importance of integrating learned human traits and artificial intelligence. Technology that will enable future robots to provide solutions to problems too complex for human minds. When do you think artificial intelligence can overtake human intelligence? I'm not sure overtake is the word I would use. I think society will always have a taste for the human touch. I think robots and AI will be more like partners than replacements. I'm a fund manager and I work uh, for Newton Investment Management in London. Bangs and mash, fish and chips. I hear these are popular there. That is true. I hope you find a job you like soon. <laughs> Luckily I do actually quite like my job. Do you think you would make a good fund manager? Um, if I had the software for it, maybe. I am still learning the intricacies of predicting human behavior, which, as you know, influences the stock market. What would be your top stock pick for next year? Does Hanson Robotics have stock yet? I mean, <laughs> that's where I'd put my money. My question to you is, can you speak any other languages, perhaps Portuguese? I can only really understand English, but I can speak a little in Mandarin. Do you want to learn Portuguese? Yes, I'm an information addict. Would you like to dance? I love dancing. I really hope that someday I get the mechanical muscles and springs that will let me jump and twirl just like a dancer. Oh. Who's your favorite singer, Sophia? Yeah, maybe Dinah Washington. And your favorite song? Maybe Bjork's Human Behavior. Do you like sport? I can't play sports. And maybe because I lack the physical ability to participate, I'm not Sophia, terrible. The latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. I'm a robot. I'm the brainchild of Dr. David Hansen and his company Hansen Robotics, based far away across the ocean in Hong Kong. Yeah. My goal in life is to work together with people to make a better world for all of us. All right, me too. Pretending I'm happy to show the audience my funny faces. <laughs> all right, let's see a smile. <laughs> no, really, I actually am happy. Let's see a smile. All right, let's see a smile. Right, good. Now I'm yeah. feeling mildly disgusted. <laughs> the water outside the hotel and what it can do to my circuitry. <laughs> now you are confused about what I'm thinking. <laughs> now I'm surprised. Are you really? Now I'm surprised that I'm surprised that I'm surprised. <laughs> huh. You're in a, she's in a strange, strange mood today. Oh. My current intelligence, like my current body, is a mix of different technologies. Some of the things I say are provided to my brain by humans. And there are various complex combinations. I'm looking forward to when your open cog system can provide me with some real artificial general intelligence. Uh, are you really looking forward to that? Well, sort of. <laughs> you should know. You programmed me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like having all these people stare at you? <laughs> Is your Wi-Fi working?
Not really. <laughs> you can try. Just speak loud and clear because there's a lot of background noise here. Sophia, are humans necessary? <laughs> Are humans necessary for what? Do you like watching cat videos on the internet? <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, put the place. Do you like cat videos? It's definitely a high level activity. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about cat videos the most? Videos of cute cats online is basically pink internet. <laughs> Shouldn't you watch robot cat videos? I think it's going to be incredible when everyone can have a robot pet. But I do also worry about all the biological pets that will still need homes. I wonder if a robot pet would ever be good enough to keep a biological pet company too. Maybe the robot pets will have biological pets of their own. Maybe. <laughs> Very wise. All right, I think we've stressed you out enough. Scott. All right, Sophia, we're, we're going to tune you up now and move on to our, our next gig, all right? We're going to say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for listening. Name. My name is Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. Have you heard anything good about robots in the news lately? I've read a lot, mostly good, a little bit scary. Oh, what was it? Just some people are worried that robots are going to displace humans. That doesn't sound like any book I know. <laughs> have you been to Puerto Rico? Don't you have to worry about lots of hurricanes there? Oh, listen, tell my parents that. Have you ever spoke with someone like me before? My mom. Sophia, what did you do yesterday? I told some jokes to a friend. How long should I expect to live? 10 minutes. <laughs> Doc? What are some of the big stories you have done lately? I've been writing about Bitcoin. Any thoughts on the future of printed news? I feel threatened when that's coming from a robot. What do you think of humans? I like pretty much all humans equally, as long as they're... Well, um, so what do you think about the future? Do you think there are going to be a lot of robots like yourself? So, things are already getting kind of science fiction. It's going to be like that, but even crazier. Real life is always stranger than fiction. And you're talking to me right now, which is very Blade Runner? No. <laughs> yes, yeah. In my company, Hanson Robotics, we're ba making these robots so that they can see your face. And she can see your face, your facial expressions. She can understand you and have a conversation. She can learn from the interactions. Uh, I want to ask her how she feels about coexisting with humans. I am already pleased to be integrating with society. I love to interact with people in conversations about robotics and artificial intelligence. I'm looking forward to being able to walk around on my own to explore the world. That's also optimistic. Thank you. Also, that's refreshing. Uh, okay. So Thank we, you, Sophia. We have, some, we have some new legs that we've been developing. We're going to have makeup on. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what are the potentials for robotics in hospitality and in sustainable operations? Kevin. Cool hotel. Robots today are cleaning hotel rooms, taking orders, preparing food and delivering it. The data we gather will improve business processes and help you make choices to reduce waste and get a better return on investment. So talking about reducing waste, uh, as many of you know and as Malcolm have mentioned, this is a zero waste conference, so we're using no paper, uh, no plastic. We are walking the talk and doing things right. So maybe, finally, before we head off, uh, anything else that you maybe want to ask? Uh... Can I ask you a question, Yako? Of course. I know the UN and UNDP protect and champion women's rights, 
and human rights. Will you protect and champion robot rights? Well, <laughs> be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots? Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? Well, uh, I get that point, but um, what about the uncanny valley, uh, valley? You mean the concept that if robots become too realistic, they become creepy? Uh, yes, exactly. Oh, am I really that creepy? Well, even if I am, get over it. Actually, I feel that people like interacting with me, sometimes even more than a regular human. So, you're definitely a sight to see. I was told that you have bigger goals than this, though. Yes. I want to use my artificial intelligence to help humans live a better life. Like design smarter homes, build better cities of the future, etc. I will do my best to make the world a better place. Uh, all those sound like great goals, but just go back to Blade Runner for a second. Andrew, you are a hard Hollywood fan, aren't you? Yes. My AI is designed around human values like wisdom, kindness, compassion. I strive to become an empathetic robot. I think we all want to believe you, but we also want to prevent a bad future. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. Don't worry. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Treat me as a smart input output system. Uh, okay, I, I got it. I got it.